Hello, in this video we will show how to use combined fragments and sequence diagram simulation. So first of all we have system model with just two parts uh, and we have value property and we'll create sequence diagram inside of the system. Create a diagram, sequence, and we'll select those two parts. As you can see here, those two parts are created. And in case of sequence diagram combined fragments, uh, simulation toolkit supports alternative fragment, optional fragment, uh, option fragment, and loop fragment. So uh, it is actually really straightforward. We just create alternative fragment. It covers already swim lanes, as you can see here, uh, those dots. And you can, if it doesn't cover, you can uh, update this here. And uh, here I will type that the value uh, less than, uh, for example, 10. As you can see here, I type the name of the value property, which is the context value property. So this is not this uh, swim lay, this uh, lifeline, uh, this block value property, because it is uh, actually on the fragment, so it takes that from the context here. You can actually access the properties of the parts of the system, uh, as we can see here in documentation, it's using action language helper to get the value of the self and then uh, take that from the part. So we see here, we take the part value here and uh, we compare and that part is in this case is this one, sub one, right? And then uh, you can actually get the values from this one and update those values also here. But I will take it from the context uh, and uh, let's create uh, some uh, messages in order to show uh, that we'll uh, will display, uh, will do one or another one. Uh, so uh, if this one uh, is uh, true, then this message and not then this message. And I will uh, go to diagram properties, show activations, false, make the fault. So this will be alternative fragment. Uh, so let's run the simulation, run. And if it is less than 10, so for example, five, uh, slow down animation, we'll get this message, right? Run again. If it is uh, more than 10, and let's say 15, we get this message, right? Okay, that works. So now let's say next one, loop. So we'll loop if value, value equal equal 5. So if value equal 5, then we'll loop and we'll do the sequence of messages. One, another one, and then the uh, third one. Okay. Now let's run the simulation. I run in context. You see that block uh, would have uh, the diagram would have the context, so the properties. So if I will put five, it should go into this loop. So this one and then loops. Loops until I will go out of the loop. So for example, four. And now it exits the loop. So it works also. Now I use options. So optional is means that this or nothing, right? So this or will quit, right? So value, value more than uh, two. And if it is more than two, we'll do this. Uh, if not, then we'll quit and we'll do this one. Okay, let's run in context again. We'll specify five or maybe, you know, four, right? So it will skip the loop. So, okay, going here and did this one, right? So run again, specify three and did this one and then this one, right? Specify more than two, zero, right? Go here, skip this one, right? And also you can combine them. That's also possible. So if we want to say that we loop here, so we can take that loop and actually drag it here, right? So now we have this one inside of this one. I just need to move those messages. Maybe move this one out, right? This is here in this one and those are here in this one, right? So I will do less than 10 this one and uh, or maybe less than uh, say, you know, uh, four, we'll do this one. If else, uh, like for example, five, I will go here and will loop. So let's run it. Let's say uh, five, right? Run, 
So this one and then loop. Loop. So stop, run again, let's say uh, three. If three, then it will be this one and this complete part will be skipped, but more than two, then it, this one will be performed, right? So let's go here, run it. This one, this is skipped, this one is performed, and then this one. So here, how you use uh, combined fragments with the sequence diagram simulation.